national call for workforce and total health is being made by the state social enterprise of the departmental hospital for the incorporation of doctors, nurses, nursing assistants, and technicians in the public health to join the health team of the hospital center. For the entire department, it is not a secret that we are in an expansion of COVID. Therefore, the instruction that was received by the scientific management was to convene doctors, nursing assistants, and head nurses, considering that these are the care areas in which we have some shortcomings, being that those on staff are not enough. Professionals residing in San Andres can apply to this call. Those interested should approach the human talent official of the state social enterprise. And in other news, two old chickens were found cared for and watched by Coralina Environmental Corporation. The birds were found in the Maria Estrella del Mar Church. This is how these two olds were found by the Environmental Corporation after the call received reporting their presence in a bell tower in the Maria Estrella del Mar Church. When we set our eyes on them for the first time, they had the first type of feather that the chickens have when they're small, which is called down or feather bed. This is like absorbent cotton that protects them from the water and from the cold. We saw them both, one bigger than the other. The mother usually feeds them in the afternoon and the ideal thing to do is not to bother them. This is the first time this happened. The idea is to recover the fauna so that they can be monitored. We come every two or three days verifying the size and their health condition to verify that they do not have predators or any risk nearby. The corporation continues to care for and verify the safety of these old chickens. And with the objective of providing welcoming spaces to the insular community and its visitors, the departmental government carried out maintenance work in different tourist attraction sites. The Secretariat of Tourism is carrying out maintenance work sessions in the downtown area, specifically in the area known as the Morgan Canyon, with the aim of providing a pleasant place for locals and tourists. The Secretariat of Tourism is carrying out maintenance sessions at the Morgan Canyon. At this site, we are restoring some paintings that were worn out due to the passage of time, with the issue related to the sculptures. We have already started all the procedures when it comes to the subject of policies, since the sculptures are in the range of time in which they were carried out and have some deficiencies in their architecture. The important thing is that we are conducting this work as a sign that we genuinely care for our destination. We invite residents, tourists and the trade sector to help us take care of the destination with the little or much they can do. The Secretariat of Tourism hopes that these sculptures can be repaired and returned to adorn these tourist assets for the entire island community. And as a result of the precautionary measures that prohibits the entry of more vehicles to the department, merchants and people who bought vehicles before this measure came into force are being affected because they were in the middle of closing the deal for the entry of their purchased vehicles to the island. At this moment, the economic sector responsible for the entry of vehicles into the department is being affected, not only motorcycles but also cars. This is a result of the precautionary measures imposed by the court prohibiting the entry of said vehicles to the island. Furthermore, people that have ordered or purchased their vehicles prior to this measure was in effect have not received up until this day their means of transportation. A few weeks ago, the court issued a precautionary measure until some pending cases were resolved since April 14th. The government, through the Secretariat of Mobility, delivered a report on the different points that need to be resolved. Therefore, we are waiting for the court to issue a ruling, resolution, or at least tell us that we can begin entering vehicles to the department again. In addition, the official shares her concern, especially for those people that are affected by the measure, among them an anonymous witness. We have about two establishments dedicated exclusively to this economic activity and approximately 90 people's job security is in jeopardy. Okay. What occurred was the following. At the moment to begin the boarding and eventual transportation of the vehicle, this measure came into effect. Therefore, this restriction has not allowed us to be able to resolve the situation and so to have the 
right to enjoy what I purchased. This journalistic house will keep you up to date with what the court decides so that those affected can find a quick solution. And in the midst of the national strike, as ISAP announced that they're joining these demonstrations but through meetings with a small group of people in order to avoid agglomerations. Good evening, Lisa and all the TV viewers. We say hello from here, from the town of the island, because we talked to the president of ASISAP, which is the Association of Teachers of our island, and he told us that they are going to support the strike, the national strike about the tax reform in the whole country that is going on right now. But they are not doing it on the road. They are doing it through meetings with different people and showing their support and begging also the national government some things like this. FECODE in the national meeting last Monday approved to join the national strike that has been taking place since April 28th through the national territory. As ASISAP and its board of directors have made the decision to also approve this strike, but we are also aware of the decision that we are going through in the department and that is why we have not been seen on the streets. We think it is paramount to defend life and to protect the life of each one of us, so we are holding small meetings with groups of teachers from different educational institutions to inform them of the situation of the strike, why FECOLE joined in, and why the Ministry of Education Education has not made a working table to listen to the list of demands of teachers. It is important to mention that one of the requests is the vaccination to all the teachers, but in the last hours, the Ministry of Health announced that they are going to prioritize the teachers in the third stage of the vaccination plan. We will continue seeing the develop of this theme. Continue, Lisa, in studio. And we continue with more local news to continue with the improvement of the environment. They transported the waste previously collected in the campaign called Together We Do It that took place in the islands. Here is the information. The Secretary of Public Service in conjunction with Coralina and the Colombian Air Force managed to strut and transfer two tons of post-consumer waste, which were part of more than 50 tons of the collection campaign that time fit we do it together. This waste consisted of computers, television, cables, among other items, known as rice. In addition to lead acid batteries and pesticide containers, which were removed to the city of Bogota to be properly disposed. And now let's get to know other facts that are making news in our brief news sections of today. As part of the reconstruction of the municipality of Old Providence, the Ministry of Energy installed 116 poles and energized 1,100 with which the national government guarantees the supply of electricity on the island and the provision of an essential service to the citizens. Due to the lack of consciousness of people that go out on the streets, performing all kinds of activities without taking into consideration the biosecurity measures, the Tourism Protection Group of the National Police developed a campaign aimed at citizens wherewith messages alluding to self-care and the delivery of face masks seek that tourists and residents carry this important element to safeguard life through this campaign. They also want to highlight the correct use of the face mask and contribute to the care of the community of the island. Coralina Environmental Corporation celebrated the International Day of the Forest Firefighter, highlighting the work of firefighters and civil defense. In addition, the entity also emphasized that the archipelago is going through its dry season. Therefore, it is prohibited the burning of plant material in order to prevent wildfires. And now we continue with the weather forecast. The weather forecast for today, May 5th, in the coastal area of archipelago, the sky is mainly sunny. Temperature is 31 degrees Celsius, with winds from the northeast direction with intensities of 11 km per hour. Humidity forecast is 67% and probability of precipitation is 2%.